All right, so we've investigated this idea of the derivative in three different ways so far, right? And one of the one of the problems we looked at, or two different ways, we've looked at an equation, right? So here is the derivative with an equation. We just plug in two points that are really close together. We've also investigated the idea of a derivative using a graph, right? And so when we're trying to find the derivative at one, with a graph, we just draw that tangent line, and it's the slope of the graph. Now, if you remember, our book loves to do for, uh, loves to do functions several different ways, and the last way that we haven't covered yet is how could we do the derivative when they give us the function in terms of a table? And so, here's a here's a problem where x is Tristan's age, and f is going to be the number of hairs on his head. And so, when he's 30, this is actually about half a head of hair. You start with about 100,000 hairs on your head, and as he gets older and older and older, he has even less and less hair until he's down to about a fifth of what most people have. And so the question here is estimate f prime of 40. Right? And so if we think about this graphically, I've drawn a graphical representation of the points they've given us. It's really asking us for the instantaneous rate of change at this 40 value. And so we're going to do this the way you're required to do it in your web work is we're going to get two estimates for the average rate of change at 40. So first we'll do the average rate of change, the average change between x equals 35 and x equals 40. We'll also do the average change between x equals 40 and x equals 45 and then we're going to average these two values. So if you can think graphically about what we're doing, we're looking from we're looking at the slope of this line and then we're also going to calculate the slope of this line and then we're going to average those two slopes, right? So in this problem, the way this is going to work is we look at difference in outputs divided by difference in inputs. So we'll look at 25,000 minus 30,000 so the hair on his head at 40 minus the hair on his head at 35. And we'll divide that by 40 minus 35. And if you calculate this out, this is equal to negative 1,000 hairs per year. Right? Similarly, we can come over here and we can do 21,000 minus 25,000 and we're going to divide that by 45 minus 40 and up here we'll have negative 4,000 down here we'll have 5 and so this is equal to negative 800 hairs per year. So again this is the way you're required to do it in your web work almost all the time and so our estimate for f prime of 40 is going to be the average of these two values here. So each of these values on their own could kind of be an estimate for f prime of 40, but we're going to get an even better estimate. And so we're going to say this is approximately equal to negative 1,000 plus negative 800 over 2, the average of these two values, which is negative 900 hairs per year which basically means when he was 40 years old he was losing about 900 hairs per year. So, just big idea, the derivative is like it is the instantaneous rate of change at a certain at, at a certain point, right? And so the way we represent that instantaneous rate of change graphically is with a tangent line. The way we represent it, the way we figure it out from a from an equation is we just pick two points that are really close together. And then the way we can do it from a table is we'll look at the average rate of change on the right side, we'll look at the average rate of change on the left side of the point they're asking us about, and we'll take the average of those two, of those two quantities that we computed.